This is Tenor, released by the brand of Chinese Tenor company, entered in the Indian smartphone market exclusively through the Amazon on September 2017. This is a mid-range smartphone by the company having the Snapdragon 430, 13MP main and 5MP selfie camera, 3GB RAM, 4000mAh battery, 32GB inbuilt storage with the SD card expansion, 4G OLT support and headphone jack supported as well. So pretty good specs when it was released but now we can't see this OEM. They released only 5 smartphones in India till 2019. Now they stopped any release of new phones. What a bad luck for the users. Software only upgraded to Oreo, no support as of now. So that's why I always tells you, you need to do the adventures like unlocking, routing, flashing, custom ROMs to give the new life to your device when such things happens. I don't know this video will get the response or not because of very few people now having this device but still I want to give the hope apply to the 10 or E users through my video. This is only possible with the support of awesome devs like Popo, AXM, Infinity, Mochi, Ozu, Kadribayan and we got Android 12 with the latest security patches in 2022 for this device. Lots of ROMs are already available. If I get the good response I will create the each and every video of the ROM and how to install them to give the new life to these device users. So in this video I just showing which Android 12 ROM I am using, what's working and the bugs, all the features that it's giving to this old device. So you are watching for take and without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. So here I flashed the Spark OS. This is the first and awesome boot animation on this 5 year old device which is very interesting. If you go to about phone, we can see I have installed the Android 12 based Spark OS unofficial ROM. Security patch is of December 2021. Soon we will get the update till the Feb 2022 security patch. Here I flashed the custom kernel Aura Plus 4.9.296 which has so many tweaks for the low RAM and the performance boost. This is beautiful clock style Android 12 easter egg. So let's see what's working and what's not. So I am Indian users and specially uses the OLT. Geo sims are working well with the incoming and outgoing calls. Bluetooth connection is also working with the sound in the Bluetooth devices. I tested it with my Oppo Echno M30 earphones with the LDAC support. Sound in a speaker is also very good. There is a dedicated setting available in the ROM to increase the sound in the speakers. I will discuss that when we check the customizations. Wi Fi and Wi Fi hotspots are also working without any issues. Auto brightness is fully working, no issue in this at all. So what about the camera, a ROM comes with the inbuilt cam application which is fully working. Here you can see we are able to take the pics and the videos but actually camera is 5 year old with the low specs so we can't expect much more from the cam in case of the quality but still they are good. Let's see what's not working, the only thing not working is the fingerprint sensor. Actually if you use the 3.8 kernel it will work, I also gave the link of that kernel but performance will be caught down. So it's recommended to sacrifice this, except this the bug, all the things are just awesome, it's a really usable ROM we get here. As this is the Android 12 build, we get the old Android 12 goodies like the wallpaper based monet theming, new volume panel, new rounded shape, peak and the quick setting tiles, new power menu, new recents with the screenshot edit options, new notification panel with the quick reply to the each message separately in the app. So let's check the ROM customizations. ROM is fully customizable, gets the dedicated customization tab in the setting firework option. Inside that we get the dedicated themes option in that the Monet engine is the setting to change the aspects of Monet theming that Android 12 offers. In this we can use the dedicated color by using the custom color picker. Also you can set the colorfulness and the brightness of the colors which makes the device looks to the next level. One thing is very interesting that looks very good, that is the QS clock picker setting. It has the spark clock 1 and the second which looks absolutely stunning. We also get the material theme clear all button tab in the setting. QS style animation tab is nice looking addition. We get the flip and the rotate type of animation in this tab. Ambient edge lighting is available in the ROM for the notification alert on the lock screen which has a bunch of the custom settings and it gives the very nice look to the always on display. In the lock screen setting, we can see the music visualizer option with the lava lamp 
and I can say it will give the stunning look to the always on display while music is playing on your device. In the status bar option we get the bunch of the whole and the whole Wi-Fi options. Instead of that we get the date and the clock position and the size setting as all the custom ROMs offers. Under the gestures tab we get the double tap to wake and the sleep features, volume rocker wake up and the music control which is welcome addition. Miscellaneous setting has a lots of options but inside the power menu you get the number of the additional buttons like the screenshot, advanced restart, flashlight, lockdown and many more. So here comes the sound improvement feature under the sound setting. ROM comes with the direct sound implemented all over the ROM. Here for the earphones we can choose the bunch of the preset and the bunch of the headphone types too. Instead of that the sound amplifier is available to gain the headphone, microphone and the speaker sound. Inside the system setting, we get the Xiaomi add-ons. I don't know whether this is from the Xiaomi phones, but it's a welcome addition. Like the color calibration setting is available, it has the bunch of the cool color profile which makes your device screen look stunning. Inside the spectrum profile, we get the balance, performance, battery and the gaming profiles also. We can choose as per our requirement. So here comes the battery life for the ROM. As the phone comes with the 4000 mAh battery, I don't know what was the results for the stock ROM as I didn't use this phone for the stock. But on the custom ROM, I got the 4 hour of SOT with the whole day 24 hour standby users still the 37% left with the average users of the YouTube videos, course, music, etc. Still the full test is pending so if the users gives me the good response and need the battery test I will do in the next video. In the case of the performance as the processor is too old and too aged, we can't accept the much more from this CPU. You may feel lack like sometimes still on the custom ROM but very smooth as compared to the stock which was very laggy on the Oreo firmware I tested. As the CPU is too old and aged I didn't took the Geekbench test which is useless. So finally what I can say guys it's 101% recommended you to flash this ROM. As there is a single video for the routing and installing the TWR for this device, if you all give me the good response I will recreate that video also. I will also create the separate video how to flash this ROM because this is also very tedious process with the step by step guide. There are lots of Android 10, 11 and 12 based custom ROMs available I will create the video for that too. So my request is to give the like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Take care.